It did not take long for Donald Trump to celebrate Hillary Clinton's latest email troubles in this report. He's campaigning in California where authorities were determined to prevent a repeat of last night's post-rally violence in Al Albuquerque, New Mexico. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron has the latest tonight from Anaheim. Fundraising and rallying raucous supporters in Anaheim, Donald Trump used the State Department Inspector General's criticism of Hillary Clinton's private email server like a club. Crooked Hillary. She's as crooked as they come. The Inspector General's report, not good. Law enforcement in Orange County, a Republican stronghold in liberal California, expressed concerns about protesters and security three weeks ago. Trump's rallies are again becoming flashpoints for anger and occasional violence. Don't hurt him. I say that for the television cameras. Do not hurt him. Trump's Anaheim rally came a month after the city council refused to vote on a resolution that condemned his, quote, divisive rhetoric. That non-vote spurred violent demonstrations. Police had to use pepper spray to disperse the angry mob. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, police called last night's protest a riot. Several officers outside Trump's rally were injured, and police had to use pepper spray and smoke grenades to calm things down. Trump tweeted, quote, the protesters in New Mexico were thugs who were flying the Mexican flag. The rally inside was big and beautiful, but outside, criminals. Several demonstrators inside were dragged out of the rally, in which Trump called Hillary Clinton a lowlife for suggesting he gets rich off the misfortune of others by profiting in down real estate markets. I see this lowlife. She puts on an ad. Did you know that Donald Trump was rooting against housing because he want housing to go down because he wanted to buy? And they've got some clip of me from many years ago where I'm saying, yeah, if it goes down, I'm going to buy you. I'm a businessman. That's what I'm supposed to do. As he tries to unite the GOP, court women, and minorities, Trump last night suggested Republican New Mexico Governor Susana Martinez is falling short. We have to get your governor to get going. She's got to do a better job, okay? The governor's spokesman fired back in a statement, quote, the governor will not be bullied into supporting a candidate. Governor Martinez doesn't care about what Donald Trump says about her. She cares about what he says he will do to help New Mexicans. She didn't hear anything about that today. Trump has two more important appointments tonight. One is an appearance on late night television with Jimmy Kimmel, who's been critical of Trump's rhetoric and is running his own independent campaign for vice president. The other is a phone call with House Speaker Paul Ryan to discuss their plans to unite the party and when and if Ryan will endorse the Republican frontrunner, Brett. Carl Gammon live in Anaheim. Carl, thanks.